everyone, I am Tanya Martinez from Remax Real Estate Results. Today I am here to talk to you guys about five home buying mistakes I see buyers make all the time. Um, I have been in this business for three years now and trust me guys, I have seen a lot. I haven't seen it all, but I've seen a lot. And these are a few mistakes that I see home buyers make constantly. So I wanted to make this video to let you guys know um, what you guys can watch out for and how to avoid those mistakes. But first, please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that way you guys get notified every time I post a new video. I'm so excited you're here. I'm ready to ready to learn um, and let's dive in. The first mistake I see many home buyers make is looking at houses before they're pre-approved. Guys, come on. You guys wouldn't plan a vacation and just go on it without figuring out how much you guys um, need to pay for it, if you guys can afford it. Um, really guys, there is a lot of things that you guys are going to need to pay for on a vacation. So realize it's going to be the same thing for a house. So make sure you can afford it. Uh, go to your local lender. Figure out um, what you need to get before you're pre-approved. This is such an important step because I see so many people looking at houses that are like in the 200,000s when they can only afford like 170. Um, and that is, it's so important so that way you guys don't fall in love with an idea of a, of a house before you guys know what you guys can afford. The second mistake I see many home buyers make is looking for that perfect house. Guys, it is really rare that you're going to find a house that really checks off all your boxes and um, is in your price range. Honestly, guys, most of those houses are going to be in a higher price range. And it's super important to know that just because the house checks off everything on your list today, it might not do so in the future. And on average, people end up moving every five years. So if it checks off at least 75% of what you um, of what is on your list, honestly, that is a really good find for you. Right now, like I've, st I've said in most of my videos, we are in a seller's market. And if you work so hard to find that perfect home, then two things can happen. You might overpay for the house or you might get outbid. So it's super important um, just to not focus so much energy on finding that perfect house and falling in love with it because you might end up making those mistakes. Um, it's also really important to see if you can find a house that you can fix up as you go. That's what me and my husband did for a lot of our houses. We fixed them up little by little by adding new paint, um, fixing countertops. Really guys, it can be done. And it, a house doesn't have to be perfect the moment you move in. You can make it perfect by adding in your own your own pops of color wherever you want, or um, really by changing those things that if only this house had counter uh, granite countertops instead of the ones it does now, um, those things can one add value to the house, and two might get you a better deal in the long run. The third mistake I see many home buyers make is relying too much on the Zillow's estimates. Guys, Zillow's estimates are an algorithm. They're not a real person that goes out to every single house and checks the value and sees that if the value is correct. They're really not. So, from my expert opinion, I really don't think that you guys should be using Zillow's estimates when you guys are thinking about making an offer because you might be overpaying or you might be um, not offering enough for what the value is for what the house is worth. So make sure you talk to your realtor, have them do a comparable analysis to see what the homes in that area have sold for in the past six months. Really, that's one of those things that you guys can also do yourself on Zillow. You guys can look at what houses have been have been selling for in that area. But if, of course, if you've got a realtor, just have them do it. That's probably the easiest way to do it. And guys, I'm saying this from a person that actually really likes Zillow. It makes my job quite a bit easier. The fourth tip I have for y'all is don't let anyone press you to make an offer on a home. 
honestly guys, like I tell my clients, this is going to be one of the biggest investments that you guys make in your lifetime. So don't rush it. I mean, there is a difference between dragging your feet and feeling rushed. But um, in order to combat that, make sure that your realtor is teaching you um, the process, making sure that they're there to help you along every step of the way. Don't just make an offer because you see that the house might sell fast and you really like it. Make sure that you are comfortable paying that amount and um, that you guys are comfortable with the house. There's nothing much to it. Just don't let anyone rush you. Don't let your parents rush you. Don't let like these societal numbers that you should have a house by 25 rush you. Do it at your own pace because that, that house will always be there, but the decisions you make could could determine whether you guys are successful in the future or if you guys feel like you guys have buyer's remorse and don't feel like you guys um, made the right decision. So don't feel rushed. It'll be fine. The fifth mistake I see people make is buying a house when they're not ready, when they really should be renting. And I know, guys, I'm a real estate agent. I should be like, no, buy a house now. Um, no, guys, honestly, I have told some clients, I don't feel like you're ready. Maybe we should take a step back, save some money, um, and then we can talk, up, talk in a few months about buying a house. Uh, because honestly, guys, I am working for your best interest. So I want to make sure that you guys feel ready and are prepared and you guys aren't just buying this house because your parents are making you, because you want to keep up with the Joneses. Um, really guys, this is going to be one of those decisions that you guys are going to need to be making by yourselves. And you have to make sure that you are ready. Because a house comes with a lot of responsibilities, a lot of maintenance, a lot of um, hidden expenses that you just don't have with renting. So renting could really just be one of those things that buys you time um, while you save up for your closing costs, your down payment, any hidden expenses that might be with the home. So guys, just don't buy a house if you guys don't feel that you're ready. It's okay to rent. And I know we run around with this narrative that you, um, that buying a house is the only way to build wealth. And honestly, guys, it's not. It is one of the best ways, in my opinion, but it's not. You don't need to buy a house just because you want to keep up with the societal norms. So I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys liked this video. And if you guys know anyone thinking about buying a house and it's their first time, make sure you guys send them this link. Um, and of course, guys, I do have a first time home buyer's guide that will be linked at the bottom uh, in the details. So make sure you guys check that out as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.